In Elixir, agents are specialized gen servers that are all about state. If you see an agent being used, you can be pretty confident that it's being used to manage some state. Let's open IEX and see how we can use an agent to manage some state of our own. Now there are two ways to start an agent. Agent start link will start an agent linking it to the current process. Helpful if you're using an agent as part of a supervision tree. An agent start, which starts the current agent without linking it. Let's use agent start link and we'll give it an anonymous function. The return value of that function will be used as our initial state. Let's have ours return an empty list. If successful, this will return an OK tuple where the second element is the PID or process identifier of our agent. And we can see that our process is alive and running. Now that we have our agent, how do we update it? We can use agent update to update our list. It will take our PID as the first argument and then a function where we can pass in the state updating it how we want. The return of this function will be our new state. Let's take our state and add one to our empty list and it returns OK to let us know everything was updated. Now let's see what our state looks like. We'll use agent get, which will again take our PID as the first argument, and a function as the second argument. We'll again pass our state into the function, and the return of this function is what will be returned. We'll just return our state. Perfect, it returned a list with a single element one, which is just what we expected. Let's close IEX, and now that we know how to update and get the state of an agent, let's expand on this by using one in a module. Let's create a module that we can use to manage some state about different movies. First, we'll create a file named moviedata.exs. Then we can define our module. Now let's create a function on our module to start our agent. Let's call it start link, and it will just wrap the agent start link function and we'll return an empty map for our initial state. Now let's outline what we want our module to do. We want to be able to add movies. We'll also want to be able to reset our movies. Finally, let's also track the number of times a movie has been watched. Since our state is a map, we'll use the name of the movie for the key and its value will be the number of times it's been watched. Let's start with adding a movie. We'll create a new function named add. It will take our PID and then our movie. Inside the function, we'll call agent update, passing it the PID of our agent. Then we'll create an anonymous function that will take our state. We'll then call map put to update our existing state with our new movie. And we'll give it an initial watch count of one. Now let's create another function named reset that we can use to reset our state. It will take a PID. Inside it, we'll call agent update and we'll ignore our state since we won't need it and inside our function, we'll just return an empty map. Now let's create a function to view the number of watches a movie has. We'll create a new function named watch count. It will take a PID and a movie that we want to watch. Now to return a value, we'll use agent get with our PID and we'll create another anonymous function, passing in our state. Then we'll call map get. This will return the value of our movie key which will work perfectly since it's what we're using for the number of watches our movie has. Now we just need a way to increment the number of watches a movie has. Let's do this with another function watch that will take a PID and the name of the movie whose watch count we want to increment. And since we'll be updating our state, we'll call agent update, passing in our PID, and in our anonymous function, let's first get the current count with map get, Then let's use map replace to update our count. We'll pass in our state, the movie we want to update, and then we'll increment the current count by one. And because map replace will return our whole map with the updated value, we can just return this for our new state. Now let's test it out. We'll go to the command line and run IEX with our file name. All right, now let's create our agent. Now let's test to see if the count exists for a movie. And great, it returns nil. Let's add a movie and try again. And great, a count was returned. Now let's watch it a few times. And running watch count returns an updated count. Then let's reset our movies. And if we run our watch count again, it returns nil. Great, our module is working as expected. 
Now, if you're new to Elixir, you may be wondering why we have to pass around the PID. This is because our agent is a process. So we need to keep track of this and any other agent PIDs that we want to access state from. One alternative to this approach is to name our process. If we look at the docs, we see there's a name option we can use. Let's update our module to see what that would look like. We'll go to our start leak function and add the name as our current module. Then we can go through our functions and remove PID as a parameter. And in the functions where we're calling PID, we can change it to use the current module. With those changes, let's start IEX back up, and we'll start our agent ignoring the return values since we don't need them. And we'll add our movie to our agent. Getting the count still returns one. Then let's increment the count, and it updated the count. Finally, let's reset our movies. And great, everything is still working as expected. And if we try to create another agent, we get an error with the message already started. This is because we've already got a process with that name. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.